Welcome to the 11th of February where I head off on a journey to Leicester to see a new friend called Will Braddock. This will start our journey along the Great Central Lines. Welcome to part two of Rail Riders along Great Central Lines. Here we are at Quornham Woodhouse Station, awaiting the departure of 70,013 Oliver Cromwell. Oliver Cromwell is quite a well-known Britannia Pacific locomotive and is probably one of the GCR's pride and joy of their steam locomotive fleet. particular day at the Great Central Railway on the 17th of June 2018, it is the Model Railway Exhibition event. This model show spans across the whole of the Great Central Railway stations and we're going to have a little look around at some of the fantastic layouts that they have on display. Now back at Cornham Woodhouse Main Station, we see Class 25 diesel locomotive D5185 heading in with a passenger train. This train is bound for Leicester North. the other way with a train bound for Loughborough which is the train we're going to catch is 92214 Leicester City 9F steam locomotive.
before we leave, D5185 leaves with the train bound for Leicester North with D123 Class 45 Peak on the rear of the train. British Railways Standard Class 9F 2100 is a class of steam locomotive designed for British Railways by Robert Riddles. The Class 9F was the last in a series of standardised locomotive classes designed for British Railways during the 1950s and was intended for use on fast heavy freight trains over long distances. A total number built was 251, production being shared between Swindon and Crew Works. The last of the class, 92220 Evening Star, was the final steam locomotive to be built by British Railways in 1960. Inside a marquee on Loughborough Station platform stood a 16mm layout with live steam and radio controlled locomotives. A particular interesting attraction on this layout was a steam locomotive known as Silver Lady. This particular locomotive was featured on Channel 4's series Biggest Little Railway. <laughs> Now back on Loughborough platform before we head to a tea break, we see class 45 peak D123 heading into platform 1. Now after the tea break we head back up the line to Quorn once again on board 92214. Lane gets plenty of smuts on his face as we clatter down the tracks.
Spotting the site of a cute bunny in the middle of the two tracks, we decide to do some train spotting at Quorn Woodhouse Station. Next up into the station is 70,013 Oliver Cromwell once again, with a train bound for Loughborough. A while later, Class 45 D123 arrives with a train bound for Loughborough. Heading up from Loughborough with a train bound for Leicester North is 73156 Standard Class 5 steam locomotive.
214 now arrives into Corner Woodhouse Station with a train bound for Loughborough. A while later we watch 5185 depart for Leicester North. Passing 5185 and D123 is the class 101 diesel multiple unit with a train for Loughborough. Now we're going to skip forward in time to August 2018 with a mixed traffic gala celebrating the end of BR Steam. Class 25D5185 takes the first service of the day. A while later, the newly painted Class 47 D1705 Sparrowhawk heads into Loughborough Station Platform 1. We are going to catch this fresh out of the box class 47 down the line and it's going to be our main focus on our August trip today.
The Class 47 is a class of British Railways diesel electric locomotive that was developed in the 1960s by Brush Traction. A total of 512 Class 47s were built at Crewe Works and Brush Falcon Works Loughborough between 1962 and 1968, which made them the most numerous class of British mainline diesel locomotive. <laughs> And you haven't got that long, have you? Yeah, you know, turn around, no, kind of chopped off and put on. Yeah. They're mostly legs. <laughs> thing is, you've got a, you've got a, a gauge there. You can see what the back is. You can see it. Exactly. You can see it. It's just proving that you've got continuity. Yeah. Oh, so we've already proved it in the stock, haven't we, guys? Wait. Yeah. taking 1705 as far as Rofley. This was due to a point problem on this particular day down at the end of the line, meaning locomotives cannot run round their trains. The only service running to Leicester North on this day is a Class 101 DMU.
Very well, later, 70,013, Oliver Cromwell heads into Rofley Station. This will then swap over for 1705, where we will take the 47 back down to Quornham Woodhouse for a little break. A few minutes later, 1705 leaves with a train bound for Loughborough. Class 25 D5185 heads into Cornham Woodhouse Station with a train bound for Rofley.
With a train bound for Loughborough now, Oliver Cromwell arrives into Cornwood House Station. Note the train classification head code on the smoke box door, 1L50. In the afternoon of this event, the Great Central Railway was running their dining service. The Cromwell Elizabethan dining train pulled by a standard class 5 73069. This is in fact 73156 renumbered to this particular number for the event. 78018 tails on the rear. After we have some lunch, we're going to head back down to Loughborough on board of Class 47, D1705. Seventeen oh five is not a newcomer, as it was built at Brush Traction Factory at Loughborough Works in nineteen sixty five. Its first British Rail number was D seventeen oh five. It was one of five locomotives to be built with a V Solzer engine type twelve L V A twenty four. The same engine used in the ten locomotives exported to Cuba, and a common engine in France. It was built with a Spanner Mark III steam heat boiler. The generator differed from that fitted to the standard class 47s, as the engine rotated clockwise instead of anti-clockwise. The remainder of the equipment was standard with the rest of the fleet. The Britannia Pacific Oliver Cromwell now takes the next train bound for Rofley, with D1705 on the rear of the train.
Now for some train spotting at Loughborough Station now as we see the railway's resident standard 5 locomotive 73156 numbered as 73069 leaving the station. This is to commemorate the last BR standard 5 in traffic which was indeed number 73069. The locomotive was withdrawn in 1968. A while later we see the standard class 2 78018 prepare to back onto its stock in platform 2 for the next train out to Rothley. Seven eight zero one eight is a BR standard class two two six zero locomotive and is a class of steam locomotive, one of the British Railway standard classes of the nineteen fifties. They were physically the smallest of the standard classes. Sixty five were built. The design was derived from the IVAT designed LMS class two MT two six zero, with the reduced cab to enable it to fit into a universal loading gauge, as well as other standard fittings, most notably a taller chimney. Others including the lack of IVAT dome and side plates connecting the two sections of the engine. Like the LMS predecessor, the BR design had a tender cab to enhance crew protection and visibility when running tender first. They were all attached to a BR3 type tender. These locomotives are often known and nicknamed Mickey Mouses. The locomotive now departs with its train bound for Rothley. Seventeen oh five now arrives with its train bound for Rothley. We're going to catch this service down to Rothley for a little bit of train spotting before heading back home.
Class 47 history begins in the early 1960s with the stated aim of the British Transport Commission to remove steam locomotives from British Rail by a target date of 1968. It therefore required a large build of lightweight Type 4 locomotives to achieve this aim. This required locomotives producing at least 2,500 bhp, but with an axle load of no more than 19 tonnes. However, the BTC was not convinced that the future of diesel traction lay down the hydraulic transmission path of the western region and began looking at various diesel electric designs. Now at Rofley we see 5185 head through of a passenger train. After this the locomotive will be collecting some freight wagons and then it will head down on a freight train service down to Loughborough. After this, 73069 heads through the station with a passenger train. gather as Oliver Cromwell takes his very same train back down to Loughborough for the last service of the day. This is the last time we'll see Oliver Cromwell in action for at least 12 years as her boiler ticket will have expired in the next year and she'll go for her 12 year overhaul.
So we're now going to bid farewell to this celebrity Britannia locomotive and close off our episode of Rail Riders. We do hope you've enjoyed this episode and it's inspired you to watch more episodes within this series. Goodbye for now.